A YouTuber has made a video uh, where he criticizes third worldism, and uh, there's a bit of a, a bit of a problem with what he says. Uh, he essentially holds the position that he thinks third worldism endorses accelerationism. This is false. What happened was he took a statement that I made previously on a position that I now no longer hold that accelerationism was the way to go. Well, see, not only have I changed my uh, position, I don't speak for all third worldists. That's the mistake here. I don't. I don't speak for everybody. In fact, third worldism doesn't advocate accelerationism at all. I used to advocate accel accelerationism, but I changed my position. Instead, I advocate pushing third world revolution. That revolution uh, was successful, would spread, and then eventually cut off the first world from its pool of exploitation, destroying its privileged position within the world economy. And then the resulting crisis would create the class consciousness necessary for revolution in the first world. Now, this accelerationism isn't necessarily a third worldist position. You can be a third worldist and believe in accelerationism or be one and not believe in it. It is one that I previously held. I also held it because Rand Paul would possibly pull foreign troops from other countries, easing the pressure on the oppressed country. So this point seems to get ignored frequently. It's about pulling troops from, like, voting anything that would essentially lessen the pressure that imperialism puts on countries. Now, he goes on to say that uh, uh, the third worldist position is that people won't rebel because they're not suffering enough. No, this is this is false. This is not a position that we particularly hold. It's not that they're not suffering enough from capitalism to make them revolt. They're benefactors of the imperialist system. Thus, it is in their interest to save it. It's not that they not have enough suffering. It's that they benefit from it. This is like saying that the bourgeoisie will revolt against capitalism if it does them harm. No, they won't. They'll just seek reform, as first world people do. Now, this kind of extends into a larger issue that I have noticed. A lot of people, I'm not particularly referring to this guy, uh, Pangu, I, I hope I'm saying that name right. I'm probably saying it wrong. If, if so, I, I apologize. A lot of third worldists are hit with f anti communist arguments from, from people who are communists. One of the things that uh, like to be thrown at third worldists is oh, third worldists just want everybody to be poor. I mean, this is like the same argument that's thrown at communists. Oh, communists just want everybody to be poor. Essentially, there is uh, many, many cases where the arguments against third worldism are essentially just anti-communist arguments. Just replace communists with third worldists, and you have essentially the same thing. I'm not saying that's what this guy did. I'm saying this is a thing that also happens. But uh, to summarize, he's saying th third worldism will naturally endorse accelerationism, uh, which is false. It's a, it's a position that I held, but I no longer hold. Because I don't think accelerationism would actually really help. It's about cutting off the first world from its privileged position by having revolution in the third world. And by doing that, you would create the necessary conditions for, spun for class consciousness in the first world. It's not that they don't, it's not that first world people don't suffer enough, it's that they benefit from that system, just as you know, the bourgeoisie benefit from a system. And if it starts hurting them, it's not an, it's, they're not going to just get rid of the system. They're going to argue with reform because they still benefit from that system. It's still in their interest to keep it around.